24 hours. Can I just get your reaction about Graham's departure and also have you spoken to him? Yeah, before the start, um, I just spoke to Graham five minutes ago and he's sending his regards to all of you. And, and obviously it's been uh, a difficult 24 hours for all, all of us, um, for the staff, for the families, and, and now we just have to deal with the situation. Given you arrived with Graham to Chelsea, was there any hesitation in your mind about taking on the interim role? Obviously Graham, if I'm here right now, it's because uh, Graham and the club, they thought uh, that was the, the right step. And I'm here just trying to help the club and be the most professional that I can. Just on the statement that Chelsea released yesterday, it said that Graham would collaborate to facilitate a smooth transition. What does that actually mean? Probably means that I'm here right now, just trying to keep uh, the process going and and we just try to collaborate the best that we can. And I think Graham, uh, he, I think he did an amazing job. Football is a really complex uh, business and, and we have to keep going. Last couple for me, Bruno. What's been the reaction of the players and how much responsibility do they feel they should take for Graham's departure? I couldn't see the players yet. We've, we've got an afternoon uh, session plan um, and I'm going to see them now, we're going to speak to them and responsible is at the end of the day is all of us, uh, we are responsible and we have to uh, keep it positive, try to focus on, on tomorrow's game and, and that's the energy uh, towards what we're working on. Just finally Bruno, have you spoken to the owners, the, the board members, <coughs> the, the sporting directors mm -hmm. and what have they said to you and are, are you ready if needed to go until the end of the season? I spoke to them, they've been really supportive and what I'm focusing on is on tomorrow. Train today, tomorrow's game and after, step by step. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Damesh. <coughs> Moose, talk sport. Hi Bruno. Hi. Um, so tomorrow, you've been thrown in at the deep end or is it a case of you having a, a free opportunity to show Chelsea board, Chelsea fans what you can do? First of all, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for, for, for the staff uh, because Graham and Billy, they live in um, two top coaches, uh, top people, top human beings. Um, and how I see it is uh, I have to be the most professional I can, uh, try to help the players, guide the players uh, towards preparing the game the best we can. How easy is it to, to do this on a just a game by game basis? I mean, you say that you haven't spoken to the board about doing it till the end of the season. I mean, it's pretty big games coming up tomorrow, weekend, and then obviously Madrid next week. I think it's really important to focus just day by day, how much we can affect every day, what we can control. And what we can control is how we train today, how we play tomorrow, and after we see how, how it goes. You say you haven't spoken to the players yet. What, what do you expect their reaction will be? They will be sad as well because they know of uh, the level of human being that Graham is. And, and they're going to take responsibility as if done since day one uh, and he's just expecting you know what I mean uh, to be next to us and supportive and finally for me lots of big names are being mentioned already about being the next permanent manager mm -hmm. you're the man in the hot seat right now you're the one doing a press conference uh, I know you're only looking at tomorrow but would you like the job full time is this going to be an audition for you Bruno it's something I can control then I'm just focusing on what I can control and going day by day good luck thank you John South with Five Live. <coughs> Hi, Bruno. Can you, can you just sum up what the last 12 hours, 24 hours have been like for you personally, for your family? I mean, you've been thrown into a, an unbelievably tough situation here. I can. <laughs> I can do it. It's, it's been really difficult, really difficult at every single uh, level, and especially emotional. Um, obviously, you have to deal with with the press conference, you have to deal with, with the players, but what's, you know, hard, uh, the relationship with, with Graham and, and Billy, um, it's difficult to deal with, it, with that, how it affects to the families, um, as I said, really difficult 12 hours. It's going to be difficult for your emotions, but then you've also got to deal with the players, who <coughs> I presume some will be disappointed and upset the managers yeah. left as well, and you've got to prepare somehow for for Liverpool tomorrow? I mean, how, how are you going to do that? 
seeing it as an opportunity for the players. Uh, I think it's it's we representing Chelsea, a, a club with an amazing history, um, and it's about winning. It's about dominating, and what we, need, what we need to do is prepare for the game. And preparation helps a lot uh, to performance, and that's what the players they need to focus on. And ball, if you like, for you, because I mean you're coming up against one of the best coaches in the world as well. In in Jurgen Klopp, suddenly you've gone yeah. from you know being a coach here to suddenly being thrust into a a home game against Liverpool. Obviously, pure admiration towards um, Jurgen. I think it's, I cannot say uh, anything that everyone everyone knows. Obviously, they're going through a tough season as well. But they've got top players. We we expecting a really really uh, aggressive game, high intensity, and we need to be ready. You say you spoke to Graham about five minutes ago. Can you share at all what what was said there? No, it's just been really supportive. Um, I think more the call was uh, to say hello to all of you. Very kind of you. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. The last question in this section today, by Sean. Um, Bruno, you've been in coaching for four years now since mm -hmm. retiring. I mean, how big of a challenge is this for you to take on this role? Obviously, it's a massive challenge. Uh, I've been just four years coaching, but I've been 24 years involved in football. Start really early, and is I've got a lot of experience in in changing rooms. Uh, and what I'm try to do is uh, help players, guide them players, because I've been in those situations before. And uh, then I think I've got as well that feeling uh, that I can help, especially young players that probably they've not been, never been in that situation before. And in terms of Liverpool, I mean. Are you looking at the team that lost to Villa on Saturday and thinking you want to make big changes to the lineup formation, or do you want to keep things pretty consistent? I think it's not, I don't have to do or give any clues, you know, I mean, to to Liverpool. Um, but I think, as you saw the game, I, th I thought we we dominated the game. Uh, obviously, um, as everyone knows, we we lost the game. There were a few uh, mistakes. But I think it's a, uh, overall was a was a good performance. Uh, we we had a lot of chances, and we're gonna try to keep as close as we can. And any team news for tomorrow? No, same news as uh, last week. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's ended the broadcast section. Thumbs off, please.